What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's staying positive and staying productive. I want to debunk a huge generalized myth in the fitness and health industry, okay? Along your path, whether you've tried to get in shape, you are in shape, you're thinking about getting in shape, you're going to see, hear, read, and get directions about these must-dos. You're gonna get coaches and trainers that preach like it is biblical to do certain exercises or to do certain routines. And this is just not true, okay? For the person who's trying to get a fit, healthy, aesthetic, pleasing physique that has strength, that has good energy, that has mobility, that's agile, does not have to do one specific exercise or all of these specific exercises of whatever you've heard okay you're going to hear people telling you that you have to squat you have to deadlift you have to do romanian deadlifts you have to do stiff deadlifts you have to do pull-ups you have to do curls this way to get arms like this and that's just not true I've trained for almost 30 years straight, and I've had to work around many various injuries from sport, from health, and from accidents. I've also had to accommodate for certain exercises that my body just structurally couldn't perform. And I've made the mistake of forcing myself in my early years to do exercises because I believe that it was a staple of my routine it had to always be in my legs training or my back training or my upper body push sessions just because somebody who had an amazing physique or was really strong got good results from it and i pushed myself and suffered the consequences of that i've coached hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people to get from a to z to be able to attain the physique the health goal, the weight loss that they wanted to attain, and nobody was ever forced to do an exercise. As soon as they get their program, as soon as they execute every single exercise of every single day's plan, they communicate with me and I ask them, is there anything that you didn't feel the specific muscle on? Is there anything that gave you back pain, hip pain, joint pain? Was it difficult for you to bear that exercise or to keep that form? And when those situations come up, we try to adjust foot placement, hand placement, uh, the foundation of their structure or their form to try to be able to execute it. And if they still feel uncomfortable or feel pain in those areas or do not feel the muscle that they are targeting in that specific exercise of that day, we cut that exercise out because it's going to give them zero results or injure them. So I don't want you guys to believe that you have to do certain things to look great. If you're trying to build a pleasing, aesthetic, lean, sculpted, muscular physique, or to just be able to lose some body weight using resistance training, there's no have to do for any single exercise. There is specific exercises that target certain areas and give great results to the general public. And there is certain exercises that are phenomenal for sport specific goals like bodybuilding, like powerlifting, like CrossFit, like Olympic lifting. But that doesn't mean that you have to do them to be able to live a healthy, structured lifestyle with good fitness and have a pleasing physique because you're going to push yourself to get injured. If you don't feel comfortable in that movement, if somebody's telling you to do extremely difficult compound Olympic movements and circuit classes, if somebody's telling you you always have to squat every single week and then you can't walk for two days, no matter how good your form is, because you got problems with your disc or your nerves or an injury, or it's just your genetics and you have a problem with your hip, do not force yourself to continue to do that. I know this game to the T and I've lived it for 30 years. I've done it on multiple continents under multiple circumstances, through the military, through different work endeavors, through travel, 
multiple times a year. And there's so many exercises that I have to take out of my routine for weeks and even months at a time to accommodate my schedule. And I've never lost my aesthetic pleasing physique. I've never lost my health and fitness <clears throat> in general because it's not the exercise that gives you the overall result of looking good and feeling good. It's the routine of you exercising, staying active, eating well, staying hydrated, sleeping good, and recovering. That's what's gonna give you the overall goal. I see too many people pushing too hard to do exercises that they're not getting benefit from. I've watched them post the videos, I've watched them in person over the years, executing really, really, really difficult, heavy loads on exercises, putting real stress onto their joints, hoping that they're gonna get this massive gain of muscle increase or strength increase, and it doesn't come to them. And in the long run, they're just beating down those joints, they're just beating down their cartilage, their tissue, their tendons. So be mindful to yourself. So if your personal trainer, your coach, your online PT, your influencer, your YouTuber, your gym friend, your gym partner, whoever is telling you that you must do something and you feel constant pain even though you've tried to correct it or you do not feel any stimulation in that muscle group, stop doing it. You're wasting your time, you're wasting your effort and you're risking injury. And in the long run, you're gonna pay for it. I've paid for it. I've made those mistakes. I'm giving these lessons. I've paid for them so you don't have to pay for them. You get the lesson for free. You get the wisdom for free. So be careful, be mindful. It's what you do in the long run in general, okay? Nobody's trying to become in the top 1%. There's no must that you have to do unless you're a power lifter, unless you're a crossfitter, unless you're a Olympic lifter. And not even in bodybuilding, in hypertrophy, there's a million ways to skin a chicken, as they would say, all right? So just keep that in mind. If you guys are unsure of where to start and you're a beginner or just been training for a little bit, I have a free workout for men and for women. It's a full week's plan with some extra advice on there on how to eat, how to do your cardio. Just drop me a DM, do the information on my social media pages in the bio, or shoot me an email and I'll send it right over to you. Stay good to yourself, stay true to yourself, let nothing and nobody get in the way of the life that you wanna live and make sure to like, comment, share, and support the channel. Take care.